me, do you want to take a trip? Close your eyes and let your memory slip. Roll home, home to your memory and the mine in Caroline. Make believe you're getting off the train. Just imagine that you're home again. Run, run, someone is calling you, hun. Just see them watching and waiting underneath the cotton moon. Watch them and waiting just to hear a wonderful tune. Where the buzz of the bee is a sweet melody. The bird in the tree knows the right harmony. The leaves go below to and fro. Ain't you glad you're here, my honey dear? Mammy is saying, chicken in his go to bed. Mammy is saying, cover up your kinky head. That white out there ain't cotton. No, it's just a bit of old black Joe that's waving. Yes, waving underneath the cotton moon. Watching and waving underneath the cotton moon. Oh, da, Hakeem. Hello Space Engineers, welcome back to Hyphestus Prime here on the moon at the Cellini base. Thanks for joining me again. Hope everybody is well today. I'm well, so that's good. Uh, yes, so let us uh, get on with today because quite a bit to do actually. So yes, things to do. Now, I've had a little bit of a think about what I want to do and as you can see I've started this hangar here. But this is going to use a lot of steel, and I do have some steel, but not lots of steel. So I have been using the stone down here in the mine, but uh, this, because I did run out, and so I did another sweep with this, and that gives me about sort of 35,000 kilos of iron, which is quite a bit. Uh, we've still got another sweep to go back, but we're kind of... We're kind of probably at the limits of what this armor is going to do. Uh, this is where the sort of ore is. So I don't know actually where they're going further out that way is going to be. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I really want this to be a platinum mine though, not a stone mine. Because it is taking a little bit of effort to refine all the stone. You know, it's not the most efficient. You do a lot of work to get not much out of it in all reality. So what I want to do is actually mine some iron. Now, I do have some. Oh, there it is. It's right there. And... Hmm. There's a very big mining carriage up there. Uh, but anyway, that's... Um, there's some over there, and there's some cobalt. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make a mine shaft over there. And that will just be a very simple connector... Uh, some conveyors to get down to the ore and then a drill head to get it out and I'll have a large container there as well which can uh, take what the drills give it and sort out the stone and eject that and yeah so that's that's the sort of plan there now what I'm going to do oh that was the wrong button try that one what I'm going to do is initially, because it's a bit of a cart before the horse actually, so I'm going to sort of leave this almost as is, because uh, yeah, I do need to do a little bit of work, which I'll talk about in a sec, uh, but initially I'll just probably use the buggy to go over with some materials and whatever's in my inventory, it's not too far up to fly over there, and once I've got that set up and once I'm refining some iron, then I can finish this off because this is going to use a lot of iron. I mean, it's got seven blast doors wide by two high, so that's 14. It's going to be a drive through, so that's 28. And yeah, they use about four, 450 each, I think. 100, 350 each. So a lot. Uh, yes. So, yeah, I need to get a decent supply of iron happening. Because uh, as I said, I did run out. I ran out when I put this in. And, yeah, I mean, I've got plenty now, but uh, thinking long term. So, 
once this is finished then i'll have a nice airtight workshop type area where i can build a, a bulk hauler and then that can go over and connect in and bring it back because i also need to get ice which is over there so we can drive through there to get the ice uh, and there's magnesium out there and stuff as well and of course gold which is just over over here somewhere i think i think there's gold in there so yeah um stuff to do but yeah i need to as i say cut for the horse i need to get some uh, resources in order to build stuff so that i can get more resources that's uh, the way it is so once i've got this done once i've got the resources happening then i'll be able to do the other hangar there for the um for the flyer and start the habitation stuff as well so really keen to sort of get this happening because i don't want to be here too much longer um stuff to do but yeah um i'm on a bit of a timeline right so uh what i'm just going to do now is put in a roof so they're only half blocks they won't use much steel and i've got a fair bit over there sort of three thousand odd so and that way i can put in some solar panels across the top here so i'll break down those ones and use them and thinking thinking actually if i made this two blocks wider then i would fit i would fit six solar panels on each of these i'll put 12 solar panels in all right so i'm making this uh two blocks wider yeah um leave that with me i'll um either skip to when i've done it or else i'll um do a montage thing so uh yes let's get on with today enough talking Okie pokey, welcome back. So here we are. I've done the solar panels on the roof. So 12 solar panels. So that will uh, help me quite a bit. So yeah, maybe we're just halfway through the night. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so no montage. Uh, I'll tell you why. Because really just putting in big boring blocks. Uh, not that interesting to watch. Uh, so much so that I made a cup of coffee and forgot to unpause the screen capture. So, no video. <laughs> Let us never speak of it again. Hey, something I forgot to show you before was uh, I did put in a sensor on this door and we will lose a little bit of our oxygen here. But that's all fine. So, yeah, I did some work on this off camera and we've got a vent in here. So, this is the idea in this um, corridor. So, we've also got a little bit of signage. So this is all going to be pressurized in here. So as you can see, you can just walk in, walk out, and we're still pressurized. And remember last time I talked about when we actually open the door, that then this um, depressurizes in here, and our door's locked over here. So sensor still goes, but yep. So that's uh, that's good. Uh, we'll come back. We'll leave this open because we are going to use this in a second. Um, but yes, so that's taking shape. I think on this wall, I'm just going to put solid steel plate. No window, but I'll put a window along that side there. So uh, yeah, so it's a little bit of a retaining wall. Um, yeah, it took a bit of digging, but um, yeah, nice, nice big area to work in. So it'll be good when I finish this, but we need some iron for that. So we'll get on to that. Just before, just, just before we do that, I have had a bit of an epiphany. So I was talking about the um, the bulk carrier. So what I'm thinking is I, wa I wanted to do a drop pod. So there's just enough room in here to squeeze a 5x5 five five large cargo container and stack them three high. Now what I thought was that I could have the cargo container drop pod and actually build the vehicle that can carry it so that way it would be multi-purpose so yeah if that makes sense so rather than a, a vehicle with built-in you know, I'll just get some power 
um, rather than a vehicle with built-in storage it'll be it'll just carry the drop pod and so most of the time it'll just carry the drop pod and use it for storage but if I wanted to move a second drop pod so yeah that's um it'll make sense when I do it right so we're not going to do that right now though because we need to get some resource and yeah so what we'll do is we'll um what will we do we'll just go into here yeah we'll go into this one and now I did write down what I needed for a large cargo container so we'll grab those things so we needed 360 of those 80 of those So I'm going to do this for the large cargo container and the drill, and then I'll just grab some other bits and pieces. So um, yeah, leave this with me, I'll be right back. Alright, so we are filled to the gunnels. We've got uh, enough in there for a large grid, large container, drill, piston, a small grid battery, some conveyors, uh, yeah, a whole, whole lot of stuff in there actually. So. Uh, should be enough to at least get us going so let us head over there and uh yeah get the tunes pumping and we'll see you there So here we are, um, yeah, just uh, having a bit of a think about where I'm going to put stuff. So let's just get some uh, some locks happening. So, right, if we get that one sort of up about that high, that's probably going to be right, and I'm guessing here, but that's probably going to be right for the um connector level then oh sun's coming up that's good uh what if we put that in there yeah and then i'll put uh put that on Yaki and get rid of that. Put on a small head. We will just to be on the safe side, I might just rotate that round so it doesn't it can't fall off if it loses power, it'll only um or droop, you know, it'll just uh all it will do is nothing right so that's that and we'll lock you cool and yeah then what we can do is we can put the yeah just put a connector Straight on there. Just get rid of that out of the way. So if we put you on there, and then we can sort of build off of that. So
just wonder whether I put another adapter on the top, it's probably easier. Yeah. No, I'll do it all here. I'll do it all here. Alright, so if we do that, and I'll put one on this side, like so. And we can put, put a battery in there. So, and a light. Cool, cool. All right, so I'll just weld all that up. Cool, cool, and there we go. So we'll uh, we'll put you up to fifty. Now we can see. Ha! Now is that going to be enough to? Are we going to be able to connect up? Did I get it right? Maybe a little bit low. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> maybe completely off. <laughs> Oops. Cool. And no, that's that's pretty good. That's good. Uh, that button. Ah, there we go. Right. Awesome. Now. Uh, Okay, well that's um that's a good start. So what I can do is uh yeah, I need a stone ejector sort of system which yeah, how am I going to do that? So really oh yeah. All right. Leave this with me. What I'm going to do is uh, start the drill at least, and yeah, whether I even put in large grid stone ejector and sort of get it happening over the back there or uh, somewhere. Yeah, things with gravity, it doesn't stuff doesn't roll away that well. Yeah. Anywho, uh, yeah, leave that with me, and I'll just have a bit of a play here. All right, so there's uh, what we've sort of got so far. Pretty basic, but that's the whole idea. Um, yeah, I potentially could even blueprint this, but nah, it's all good. So yeah, that's uh, that's worked out well, and obviously still just need to get more components to finish that off. Uh, it's quite a thin layer, really. So yeah, I'm gonna have to have a bit of a think about how I'm gonna mine it. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe maybe a rotor on there with a drill head and a piston. Yeah, I have a bit of a think about that. But anyway, uh, so this is full. So there's a good start. We'll take that back and uh, I'll have a bit of a think about what I'm going to do. We'll um, see you back at the... Uh, at the Selene base. There we go, back safe and sound. So this should just start getting sucked out yet yeah, as so the refinery is just sucking that out, which is good. I'll put that into there and that as well. So it'll grab does it grab the stone? Oh, okay, it grabs the stone. Yep. Uh, now that's the refinery grabbing that because it's not going into the main storage. So we'll probably just need to manually chuck that stuff over. And it's all full. Alright, we'll just leave that there anyway. Right, so that's uh, that's good. So, yeah, I guess I can sort of weld that stuff up now. Um, yeah, so it's, it's coming through here. This is just a valve that allows the ores through. So it's coming from the hangers down here, in here. And going that way so it's not actually going into this storage this is the storage is purely for the platinum line so that's cool 
Uh, yeah, okay, let's just have a look at our batteries, just out of interest. So... Stored... Store power, one point. Oh, there's actually quite a bit in there. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens when the sun... I mean, it's already hit the, some of those solar panels. Ooh. And... Yeah, they're still... They're still happening. Okay, we'll, we'll come back in a little bit and check those. Uh, right, so how we offer iron and steel? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking... The sooner... Wrong, wrong doodaki. We'll try that one up there, shall we? Yeah, we got quite a bit. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm thinking that I'm just going to weld up the bits that I can weld on the uh, the large hanger, and I'll just get manufacturing some more of this because I'm really I'm going to need like that many, if not more, ten thousand. Whew, okay. So let that do its thing for a while, and uh, yeah, go from there. So a bit of welding ahead. Uh, see you in a well in a while probably. Alrighty, so uh, I've done a little bit of stuff. Obviously, I've welded everything up here that I was going to weld up. Now I've put in a conveyor connection into over there. So we've got the vents in place, ready for when we close this in. Got a cargo container in order to get stuff out. Another vent there, so uh, that's all good. Now I'm not going to do the doors right now, because I don't think I've got enough iron. So of the 10,000 steel plates, we have made about 6,000. I did make about 500 motors as well, so... Um, but yeah, we're all out of iron. So what I'm going to do is take the flyer over and get another load of iron. And then hopefully we'll be able to get through these doors and sort that out. So first of all, I've already got components for a drill in there. But I want to also grab some for a piston and a piston head. So we'll put those in there. And I want a hinge and a hinge part and an advanced rotor an advanced rotor head cool okay so that should should be enough oh you can always fly back it's not as though it's miles away it's only a few hundred meters right uh just before we do go over there so the uh, we're sort of getting into late afternoon here on the moon it's uh very long nights and very short days these oh they've actually got three three dots so they were only sort of half half going last time I was up here. Um, but that's still pretty good. That's still pretty good. And these ones, yep, they got full ball. I could tilt those somehow, but um, no, they'll just stay as they are. So power-wise, we're, we're looking pretty good. It's gone up, you know, and this has been working quite hard making steel plates. So, yeah, that's good. All right. So I'm not saying it's going to run the whole place, but it's going to help. Now, uh, yeah, so I've got all that, got all that, loaded up that. So let's go over to our drill site, mining site. Now where we go? Where is it? Uh, oh, there it is. So when I build the sort of cargo vessel, I'll um, make sure the connectors are the same sort of height as on the flyer and the buggy.
just doesn't quite want to connect, but it did. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Yeah, quite far out on that one. Hmm. I thought that was the same height as... Ah, anyway. It's connected. Right, so I did finish off welding this. And, yeah, so now we've got the, the stone dump. So this uh, sorter here is just sorting out the stone. So, uh, how am I going to do this? Probably don't want that. Uh, in all reality, I have the hinge and, a, well, rotor first and then the hinge. So in all reality, it's probably going to be like this. Uh, yeah, we'll just give that a go, see what happens. Uh, and then a hinge on there. This is just to sort of get the hole started, I guess. Now, will we be able to fit? I don't think we are. it seems to me like the yeah it seems to me like the iron's just going that way I don't think it's sort of oh, it is kind of heading out this way but it may be that I just have the conveyor going down and uh, a, a junction on here and a hinge so that it just goes left to right that way because that's the crater over there so left to right away from there and that way I can continue the yeah I can continue down because the cobalt's still below us so uh, yeah but anyway well um now I don't think that this is necessarily going to go on because yeah, it's gonna, gonna connect into there okay so I'm gonna have to do some more hand mining so uh, yes leave this leave this with me. Alright, so, uh, this is now finally connected, so we'll flick it on, and yeah, we'll just tilt this a little bit, like so, Just get that going around at a reasonable pace. And see what that gets. Now, hopefully, that's just uh, dumping the stone out. Yes, it is. That's good. Let's see if I can just tilt this a smidge. just to clear out some stuff but hopefully the drill will actually pick that up as well we'll suck it up yeah now we're away now we're away Oh, no we're not. <laughs> it's not sucking that up, but that's okay. Alright, so there's quite a bit in there. Uh, just sort of sneak down here and grab the rest of that. We'll just give this another little bit of a tickle while we're uh, here. And... Maybe a bit too much.
Cool. So that'll slowly sort of uh, dig out enough area that I can potentially add add another bit to it. Uh, yeah. So that's that's working okay. Energy low. Right. So what I'll do is. Put all you in there, and I'll fill it with iron. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll leave that there. Turn that off. Turn that off. Uh, maybe lock the hinge and turn that off so it's not using any power. Alright, and uh, yeah, just fill up the fly with some iron. Uh, do I want to take all that stuff back? No, I'll leave it here. Alright. Where we go. It is tempting to rather than a wield bolt carrier just to do some sort of flying one because it's so close and so easy but no we'll go with we'll go with a bolt carrier wheeled one all right so now we'll just uh, get rid of all of this in there all right so that's uh all refining away that's uh doing its thing we're making more of that all right so i might just uh give these blast doors a bit of a nudge since um yeah might as well start now i guess because these are going to take a little while Just uh, grab some ice there and we'll take that back to the flyer, which is over that way. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, call it a day there. I haven't actually finished off this large hangar yet, but uh, I think we've done really enough. Uh, sorry if it's been a little bit sort of boring today. I do feel like I've achieved a bit building wise, but not actually. Uh, yeah, story wise or narrative or episode. Um, this in here so I did make another run back to put that in there yeah did make another run back to the uh, iron mine and hence why we're a little bit low on hydrogen uh, yes so I have run out I've done almost done all of these ones do we still have yes we still got those in the bill planner so we'll just do those now um, they're all done they're all done but I'm making more resources uh, to be able to finish off the bottom row. So I haven't got it airtight yet, which is a bit of a shame. Would have been nice to do that today. But as I say, I think I'm going to pull the pin on this. And uh, what I'll do is I'll finish this off off camera. Let's put all those. And yeah, I'll finish it off camera. I'll put in all the button panels and props and stuff. And uh, yeah, that will be awesome. Yeah, and then next time will hopefully be a bit more interesting. We'll make that uh, large cargo carrier with the detachable uh, pod on the back, uh, freight pod, drop pod, which can then also go into the into the Madama rocket. And uh, yeah, we can send a sort of load of platinum back to Hyphestus Prime. That'll be the way. But it's all sort of coming together. Uh, I think that's going to look quite cool, especially when we get the third little hanger. So we've got the big hanger, the small hanger, and when we get another small hanger in here, and then when we get all the um, other habitation stuff over there. Yeah, so 
as I say, a little bit of a laborious day today, and a necessary one though. So getting that iron sorted and cobalt. Let's not forget that that's under there as well. Um, yeah, so just looking at our production, I've got a whole lot of stuff queued up, and search for that. So yeah, we're racing through it. So I'm probably gonna have to go for a drive and get another load. But I will uh, do that uh, off camera, and yeah, I'll, um, as I say, I'll pull the pin there, I think. So, let me just get into my position. So, as always, thanks everybody for watching, I hope you did enjoy today, hopefully uh, you got something out of it. As I say, not the most exciting one, but necessary one, and looking forward to being a bit more interesting in the next few episodes. Uh, stay safe out there, everybody. We'll hopefully see you again next time. Have a good one.